if you told me like 30 years ago in the Theta days that like you're going to be making you know 99 or 109 you know, dollar products, I mean yeah, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Digital audio converter. <laughs> Close. Digital analog converter. <laughs> Digital audio converter. <laughs> Guess where we're at? We're in a shit house. Hey, it's Randy Cheap Audio Man. We are here in Corpus Christi at the shit facility. And right behind me, Jason Stoddard is making new stuff, new, new shit. What are you guys making in this section right here? What do you make in this section? All of the products either use wall warts okay. or are USB powered. Uh, okay. Are made in Texas. Can you take us through, like, start to finish on one of the decks? Are we out of boards? Are we? No. An example of one of our new Ur chassis in the, the the standoffs are formed and we've started to learn, you know, how to how to use stamping more effectively. How many units go out the door each day? Well, it depends depends on the unit and it kind of comes in waves. This year I think it's about 150,000 units total. 150,000 uh, units. Yeah, out of this this room. Just this one. So, yeah. Not including California. Not including California. California is a lot smaller because it, we make the expensive stuff. But, okay. You know, how many of these do we make a day? It, sometimes it's as many as we can. Yeah. And sometimes it's like, well, we're waiting for boards. So what's your name? It's Anita. Anita, how long yes. have you been working here? Since last year, April. Yeah. Do you like it? Yes, I like it very much compared yeah. to what I worked before. Yes, big yeah. difference. Zach. What do you do here at I test all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> like so you everything that's made you test, you listen to. Yes. So how many things do you listen to each day? Uh it can be up to a little over three hundred. Yeah? Yeah. Or you just listen to sine waves, or you listen to actual music. Oh uh, no. When we're doing like Magnes and Modis and stuff like that, we'll actually listen to music. Yeah, what's your favorite type of music? I would just like a little bit of everything. I kinda yeah. Have a hey, Slipknot light. in there? No, <laughs> no Slipknot. I don't know. It's a mix of everything. Some country folk stuff. Country. Pop. All right. Yeah. What country artist do you like? A uh, big one is Chris Stapleton. I think I've made everyone here hate it because <laughs> I play it so much. What's your favorite headphones? We have a pair of ZMF Atriums. Oh, yeah, ZMF, yeah. Yeah, those are probably my favorite ones that I've listened to while working here. Why Corpus? We love the town, we love the people. It's mainly because um, this is actually a great place to have a business. You know, there's smart smart people. Texas A&M here opened a school of engineering. They just oh. got a engineering school dean. So we met him and so I've been talking to him about like, hey, you know, let, let, let's uh, let's talk about the internships. Pipe, the, yeah, huh. the pipeline here. And Did you look at other states or other cities within Texas? We started in Kentucky. We did Kentucky, Tennessee, did a hard look at Texas, and we we like you know we actually did like it here. Right now, I mean, we're in a great we're in a great place to actually expand because of the steel mill in Sinton. Actually, a lot of our steel comes from that, you know, from there, and a lot of our aluminum comes from Texarkana. You're utilizing about every inch of this facility. Yes. Yeah. Are you going to expand even further? In we, Corpus? I think we have to, and we do have property here that we can build on. We can either expand this building. We can build another small building over to the side. Yeah, we're full. Anything you can talk about for 2023? We, we got hit, you know, of course, with supply chain problems. We may still have the Modi Multibit 2 slip into 2023. I'm, I'm hoping this month. A lot of stuff I can't talk about. What, okay. I, what I can say is that there's a couple new strategic directions that people are going to be surprised. Uh, ah, buy. okay. I know that's not class D. Don't be surprised if there are like desktop amps, uh, plural, yeah. you know, uh, but not class D. Yeah. Uh, don't be surprised that we take on some, 
you know, a real big sacred cow oh. and skewer it up real good. Sneakers? Um, no sneakers? No sneakers. No, okay. No toasters, though I did actually, I played around with a toaster here somewhere. Yeah. Um, no toasters, uh, no sneakers. Hopefully, uh, we have some really new, exciting digital things, including what we've been calling uh, Singularity, which is our reduced bit you know, solution. That, I think, you probably got a pretty good chance to see it next year. Right now, it's at the very end where we're just playing with the analog side of things. It runs so fast that the analog side actually becomes really important. So, I, I had a, a great time yesterday with Dave, Dave and Ivana are the digital you know, guys and they're, uh, they're like well yeah, I don't understand why the performance of this isn't up to what the simulation is and I said well, what, are you, what are you using and they're like oh the standard op amp you know etc and I'm like yeah that's a really good one I said but you need a discrete stage for that because it needs to be faster it has to settle faster you, you're actually looking at something you need like a you know, 50 nanosecond settling time. I was going to say 60 nanoseconds. It's yeah, be yeah, 50. no. <laughs> yeah, no. Kidding. It's, yeah, yeah, I'm ballparking. It's really like 160. But. <laughs> Why aren't there more young people in audio? And it was like me and like someone who made very expensive headphones and someone who made very expensive, you know, other gear. And you know, everyone's like looking at each other like, I don't I don't understand, I don't know why. And I'm like, because it's too expensive. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. And then they're like, why are you selling all this stuff and we aren't? I'm like, because your stuff's too expensive. I'm like, it's affordable. I'm like, you count affordable as like, no. oh, it's, it's under $5,000. Yeah. People look at that and go, you're crazy. Yeah, yeah, people are out of touch, man. Yeah. People so, are out of touch. That's why I started the Cheap Audio Band. Yeah. Great name. We'd make cheap stuff. But it, it's not junk, you know. It's right. Just let, it's not expensive. You're bringing people into this hobby that may never have been in this hobby before. Some people are going to stop at a Magni and Modi yeah. and Loki. Some people just stop. Okay, this is good. I'd argue that more people are going to keep going down that rabbit hole as they get older, more money, maybe even not more money. They just start buying, and they get more and more into the into the hobby. So I think. If anything, the companies that are really pushing this hobby forward are companies like Shit, Shelley Labs, Emotiva, people that are making it affordable, approachable, and lowering that barrier of entry. Trying. Yeah. We're trying. We actually say on the site, and we say, like on the page, and actually in our About Us, it's like, Magni Modi are all you need. And we actually mean that. It's like, I could stop at Magni Modi just fine. And there's, a follow-up question on the FAQ. It's like, well, then why would I want anything else? It's like, I don't know. You like aluminum. You like bigger units. You need something to hold down the, you know, fake bark on your old stereo rack. You know, I, I don't know. But if you're just doing headphones, that is all you need, and you can be done. You know, maybe you like tubes. You know, those don't have tubes. So, I don't know. Well, it's awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah. Good to see you again, Jason. Same here.